there is a line that cannot be crossed without leaving everything behind except faith. Once that step is taken, there is no looking back and all that lies ahead is destiny. Chandra, amen, amen. Well, you know, look, every time I looked over there at, at, at you, I just see Father, 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 Father. Amen. God has given you a heart to Father. Amen. You are a Father. You have, you have that, that Father in you. More than you probably even know or have thought But through that anointing, God is going to Lord has me that there's a there's a there's a such a a call on your life that you have you've walked in it in the stages of your life, but you're coming into a to a greater apostolic anointing upon your life. And an apostolic anointing is a is a sending anointing. It's an anointing of governmental of order. You're going to start seeing that you've got a desire to see things come into the world of order. Word of the divine order than ever before. And you're going to do, do, so some of the ways that uh, the apostolic walks in that they they are they see people in the positions and places where they're supposed to be and they're placing them there. And they are training and equipping and doing. So a lot of the things that you've put your hands to in the past, God's not going to allow you to put your hands to it this time. You're going to have people that's going to be doing that. Have to fight that temptation. You're thinking, well, I'm not, I'm not too good to do this. I can do that. I'm, you know, I'm capable of that. But the Lord said that has nothing to do with it. It's the positioning. It's the positioning of the Lord because there's going to be such a, a, a team and such a number of people that you're going to you're going to be affecting lots of places and people, not just. Uh, so I believe that's what she was even going to be speaking there. Don't, don't get, don't get locked in. You're, I believe we're in a day and time with the Lord that we've got to conduct ourselves as if He's coming tomorrow, but that He might not even show up in our lifetime. But He may change us tomorrow, but we've got to act like what we're doing is for life and is forever until He does come. But we got to hold on to it. We got to be flexible. Because the minute we start trying to hold on to it and get a handle on it, and see how the apostolic is pioneers too. They pioneer. So when you pioneer, that means there's not a road. There's not a trail. And sometimes you're going over a mountain. Sometimes you're going through a valley that's just so beautiful and so easy. You just get to follow the creek and that's wonderful. You know, but then he moves us, he changes us, he does. So the flexibility, and I believe that's what Lord's even speaking there about the, the, the joy and not making it so hard. It is it's hard to be rigid and flexible at the same time. It's so hard because the minute we start trying to hold on to it and get a handle on it, and see how the apostolic is pioneers too. They pioneer. So when you pioneer, that means there's not a road, there's not a trail. Sometimes you're going over a mountain, sometimes you're going through a valley that's just so beautiful and so easy, you just get to follow the creek and that's wonderful, you know, but then he moves us, he changes us, he does. So the flexibility, and I believe that's what the Lord was speaking in about, the, the, the joy and not making it so hard, it is, it's hard to be rigid and flexible at the same time. It's so locked in that we don't hear it when he says, oh, change just like she had to trust the other night for God to give her a new word that she had never preached, never even thought about preaching in three songs. You know, now that's a little scary. But if she hadn't learned how to be a pioneer, and pioneer stuff, 
and be willing to be out on that cutting edge. The cutting edge. So God has been really saying to you guys, just, just, it's almost like getting to the river and get you a big old nice easy chair and watch it go down the river and collect the troops on the side and you're not having to out there be running all the time with the troops, but you're collecting the troops. The greatest generals in any war that we've ever had were the generals that collected the troops. You know, they, didn't, they weren't always up there in the front. Sometimes God said, go front, they were front. But they were the ones that were watching. So even that, I believe there's a, a real eagle anointing upon your life to be able to come up above. Amen. And see, the eagle is the only bird that can look the sun straight in the eye. So it yeah. looks straight at the Lord and don't get sunspots. But then can turn around and spot their enemy or spot their prey brought their food so far away and lock in on it, but they're looking up above it. They're up above it. So you've got to get up above the things with the Lord and then he'll direct you how to move this one above and that and how then you'll be affected. Then you'll be, then you'll be moving the kingdom. Not just, see, you move into a new dimension of kingdom, not just getting somebody saved and getting them into the kingdom. But you're advancing the kingdom. Amen. Still in the kingdom. Still in the kingdom. Amen. 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 You better go get your head and come on. Come on.